I used to think these streets were safe. That was before the nightmare started. I've never been so afraid in my entire life. They killed my son. I see them in my dreams every night. I'll be minding my own business, walking back from the store, and these monsters will come out of the darkness and start attacking me. They start honking and flapping, and their necks extend and their jaws unhinge like snakes. I try to defend myself, but they're too strong for me. I fight back, but every blow I land, it's like punching a rock. I can't bring myself to leave the house anymore. I, I can't bring myself to leave the house anymore, and it's because I know that they're out there waiting for me. I was just home watching TV, and I noticed a single goose in my front door. And within the next hour, they had multiplied to the point where I couldn't leave my home. There were just too many of them. I was so overwhelmed. I was trapped in my own home for three days. I ran out, I ran out of food in six hours, and they simply would not move. I felt so hopeless. When they had finally left, I emerged from my home. I was so thirsty that I drank from the first puddle I saw. We are in the park and he was going down the slide. Um, and I just looked away for one second and um, a group of geese came up and they tore him limb from limb. I'm so sorry to see them in it. We're not done Each year, 2.71 million people die. Statistically, at least some of those deaths might be goose-related. Geese are killing our children, holding us hostage, and causing people to live in fear. How long? How long will we continue to allow these monsters to control our fragile lives? Hasn't the city suffered enough? It is our mission to bring awareness to these vicious attacks. Call 1-800-GOOSE-ABUSE or go to www.gooseabuse.gov to donate to our cause or to share your own goose-related horror story. Together, we can end this reign of terror. Well, don't you know?